Okay, good evening. This is Hedgen Lee. Here's a beautiful clean slate chart for the XEMBTC. Now, based on feedback and comments, I mean, I trade almost always on the USD and uh, using um, Bitfinex most often, but I am getting a good amount of feedback asking for the BTC pair consistently, and uh, actually I forgot to post the XEM BTC pair earlier, and I should have, but I want to now take you through what I think is pretty impressive here. Just by looking at it without any labels, I can just see it, and it's going to be pretty amazing, I think, on the XEM BTC pair. So let me take you through this. Let me do a uh, Elliott Wave count. By the way, for the new followers and um, new readers to my blog, welcome. Uh, I want you to know that the aim and objective of my blog is to help and do no harm. That is really the oath that I take for as a technical analyst. It's almost same as a physician's oath. And, and I see maybe perhaps I could be seen as a uh, <laughs> technical physician, um, crypto physician, uh, helping others who may be in the dark and maybe need some help to augment their due diligence. And I have seen too many people get just screwed with too many of the pump and dumps, which I think is a shame. So having said that, if you're new to my blog, please consider going to the end of one of any one of my blogs. I hope you like this, by the way. <laughs> Bitcoin 8,000, when I saw it across 8,006. In the uh, Bitstamp pricing, I, I just had to put this up. This was very nice. I, I'll give credit where credit is due. I think I saw someone in Twitter use this. And uh, I thought it was really, I, I, I spilled my coffee laughing. So I used a public image GIF of Elmo on fire to announce Bitcoin 8000. Now, consider, please, reviewing my tutorials. From the feedback I've gotten, these are very, very helpful on the how to do the basics of Elliott Wave counting. And before I, at the day ends, I'm going to be putting up another tutorial, hopefully today, if not tomorrow. I have a technique called laddering. This is where you ladder in your buys and ladder sell your exits. Okay, this is one of the most important techniques that you may be able to utilize to remove emotion, the fear and greed factors that often cause investors and traders to make dumb mistakes. And then one of the best times to buy and sell. I think this could be really helpful. Um, I'll go over some of these aspects here, uh, with the XEM BTC pair today, too. And then a real live example of how to do a laddering. There's a li live example on this one, too, but another one here with EOS. So, and then I have a very detailed and nice tutorial on how to use Fibonacci with Elliott Waves. And I think you might find this very interesting. Um, then, of course, um, the two books that I recommend, Elliott Wave Principle and Technical Analysis of Stock Trends. A lot of my current followers have already purchased, purchased these books and they are studying it. And if you really want to better understand Elliott Waves, um, you really want to get this book. These two books are the ones that I used to uh, start beginning in 1997. Uh, just full disclosure, I get nothing for recommending this box for any any cynics <laughs> out there. There's always some cynics out there or trolls. Um, I, I I only recommend this because I use them myself. All benefits and and purchase price goes to the authors. None to me. I don't want any. I don't need any money from here. Follow me on Twitter, okay, for real time alerts. I do. I crank out. I'm a machine. I crank out 10 plus, sometimes 22, I think as high as many as 22 or 27 uh, blog posts per day with the updates. And if you want to be alerted as soon as I send it out, 
I tweet and you can get the alerts by tweets that I send out. All right, so here we go. Very clean slate for the XEM BTC and this is for the, we're using the Bitrix price feeds. So I was going to do a count first, but let me do, quite often what I do is I take a chart with no markings, no moving averages, no volumes, no, the only indicator I use is the MACD, okay, but as you can probably tell I don't use it that often. <coughs> so what I do here is I just look at it, kind of stare at it, up, down, down, up, left to right, right to left corner to corner, but I've been doing this for so long, usually I can just see it pretty quickly. I know some gurus out there who can just instantaneously just, they're like the Mozart of technical analysis, they can see the whole thing right away. So let's draw some lines. I always like to draw lines, especially on the t across the tops of the price bars. And like this. This is beautiful. The reason is because a few things about it gets me excited about this kind of pattern. One, it's a symmetrical triangle. And this triangle is pointing downwards. That's bullish. That means this is just correcting. And the top line and the bottom line of the triangle where it crosses is called the apex. The closer the price gets to the apex, the more pent up its energy of wanting to break out of this becomes. That's why we're going to see, we will see if this pattern is correct, a phenomenal surge of price out of this. But before I get there, let me just cover a little more here. Let's do an earlier wave count. Again, for those of you who are new to Elliott Wave Analysis, please again consider reviewing the tutorials I have already posted and purchasing the, the books. And once you get the books, it doesn't become a dual step. You got to open it, read it, and study it. Because Elliott Wave is not the easiest technique. I think it's one of the best techniques. And what I have done is I have combined Elliott Wave Analysis with chart pattern recognition to really come up with a very powerful algorithm that identifies as many possibilities and narrow effectively narrows it down to just a handful of probabilities from which you can rely on your experience as a technical analyst and, and identify your primary and secondary and maybe sometimes tertiary price pathway counts. And what I'm doing right now is exactly that. So I'm going to count. Here's wave one, wave two, Wave three, four, five. Get rid of the lines. Five waves. Elliott wave states that with every five waves, there's a reactionary set of waves in the opposite direction. And these reactionary or retracement waves often occur in three waves called ABC. So if you look here, so it's five, here's a reactionary. Do you see three waves? I do. And let me show you. This is wave A, wave B, wave C. A, B, C. Okay. And then what I do is I look at this and see if I can get the subwaves. That is how I confirm that my A, B, C count is correct. Okay, I don't do this for the accuracy of count because there's more than one way of counting in any Elliott waves. I just had a coaching session today with a, a follower, and I and I often, well, I used to often have people come up and say your wave count is incorrect. You have to have A, B, C, and then W, X, Y, and and that's the correct count. And all I say is you win. You're absolutely right. Thank you. Have a good day. Because there's no happiness to be found in arguing about the accuracy of your Elliott wave count compared to somebody else's. That's not the point of technical analysis. The point of technical analysis is to get the direction of your price moves correct. Bottom line. 
And if you get that right, I couldn't care less how you count the Elliot waves. Even if my Elliot wave count was incorrect, but I combined it with my chart pattern recognition, that still is a very powerful algorithm. But anyways, just for myself, I go sub, I define the sub waves, and this one I can see as A. B, C. Three waves. And this one I can see as A, B, C. Three waves. So I got three, three. For those of you who have seen my tutorial, when you begin to see a three, three and a five, you get what? That's called a flat correction. I'm sorry, yes. 335 is a flat correction. And that's why we have 3, A, B, C, A, B, C, 3, and then C wave is always 5. So I can say, I show 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Boom. So what does this mean? When I can definitely, decisively count the sub waves of this corrective A, B, the big A, big B, big C, red uh, correction within this symmetrical triangle that is downward pointing, hence bullish. That means this correction is either complete or it's going to be at any moment. And also noticing how close the price is to the apex. This is getting like TNT is building up here to blow out of this. That's what's happening. Okay. I'm going to remove my subwaves because when you add subwaves, it becomes very, very busy and hard to see. Okay, I said here that this could be here. Now you can have one more low, or low, potentially, but not required. I think it's about done. Now I always also say, when is the best time to buy? When is the best time to buy? It is always at the terminal end of a correction. Why? When the correction is done, you're going to see a massive reversal, as I sh I'm showing in th with this Elliott wave price pathway discernment right here. This is going to, I mean, uh, this may be here, down one more, it may breach the upper line of the triangle, come back down and sit on it as support, and then just surge and not look back. The other question I often get is, how do you know when to, where to put these waves? I mean, do you just random? No, it's not random. I eyeball everything. I've been doing this for so long. So uh, let me get through this. So wait, like look at the resistance. A uh, lot of people look at resistance from a angled line, trend line. I look at resistance from a horizontal line. So I'm going to put a resistance line right here, let's say. Look across the bottoms of these prices. I'm going to label this blue and dotted. Okay. And I'll put a resistance right here. Right. And then I'm going to put one right at the peak. Private peaks are always a bit of a resistance. Okay. Now I have these three primary resistance levels and I'm now I'm going to put my waves around that. I'm going to hit boom. It's going to get repelled by that and it's going to come back set on this. Wave 3 is going to then breach and bust out of the first resistance, but it's going to get hit and repelled by the next resistance. And then I, go, I come back about uh, uh, one-third way, which is close to Fibonacci. Then wave 4 is here, and then wave 5 is going to either hit here and stay in there, but I think in my opinion it will breach and do an all-time new high. Does that make sense, I hope? That's how I eyeball everything. And this is really important, guys, ladies and gentlemen. 
I know I have some ladies on the followers here too, and, and in my opinion, some of the ladies are one of the best investors and traders. Cooler heads prevail. That's what they've got usually. Now here, look at these resistance lines that I put in. Where do you think I got the sense of how to do my laddering? Ah, now you see the interrelationship of my laddering and Elliott waves. I also said best time to buy is here. Okay. I also said that the best time to buy is at the terminal end of an ABC correction. At the terminal end. And how do I recommend that you buy? You make an entry. You ladder in your buy. In other words, how? Let's say I wanted to buy a thousand coins of XEM. What most people do. They'll do a single transaction and buy all 1,000 at once. Boom. And sure enough, let's say they bought it here. Price is going to go below their buying point. And psychologically, they say, yeah, I'm in this for a long term. I'm not worried. Then price, price goes a little lower. And they're thinking, hmm, yeah, I could have bought, got maybe better price. I should have been more patient. Oh, well, then price goes lower. And now you're thinking, well, so now I'm at about, about you know, I lost about maybe 10%. And you begin to get a little nervous about that. Then it goes lower. Now you're getting frustrated. Emotionally and psychologically, you're thinking, this is unacceptable. I made a really bad mistake. And it goes lower and breaks a major support heel, pierces it, and you're done. And you sell. And effectively, what you've done is bought high and sold low. And laddering, if you go and review my laddering technique, you scale your buy entries in piecemeal. You spread it out into a rung. So each buy ladder, a buy point will be a rung in the ladder. So again, I don't have the time to explain all that in detail, but the tutorial for that is in full detail, go take a look at it, please. Now, here's a, um, a rounding bottom, which didn't really come out into a cup and handle, but no problem, no issues with that. And this is what I recommend. Now, my analysis shows, therefore, that all time new highs are coming. This will be 0 0.000149 target. <coughs> so that means you're looking at about a 520% profit when measured in BTC pair. Not too shabby. This is how massive profits are made. This is the power of technical analysis. And I have now, if you go through my blogs, the number of kaboom, kaboom <laughs> uh, blog posts is not too shabby. This is the confluence of chart pattern recognition and Elliott wave analysis. And the only indicator that I use is the moving average converging divergence indicator. There you're going to see this up here some. Ohio. That's my projection. Like so. Now, I have been providing a good number of coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching. And if you are interested, I'm more than willing to schedule a time with you. My rates are pretty reasonable. Um, it can be once a week, what have you. And I'm not doing this for the business of it. Actually, I, 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 don't, I don't need it. But I do charge because it is time. 
but it is very reasonable. If that is something that you're interested in, let me know in the comments and we can arrange some time as well. But more importantly, if you can get the books and review the tutorials, and if you want to attempt Elliott Wave counting and chart pattern analysis and a good number of you, like Cryptosoft, has done very well. Uh, Hippo has done also uh, very well as, as well. So I'm seeing a lot of good attempts coming out and I'll comment on it and send you back maybe my comments and maybe a recommended revision of your counts and chart patterns too. So that's another way to go about it. All right, so as always, I wish you a massive, massive profits because the powerful algorithm of combining Elliott waves of chart pattern recognition is just immense. Thank you. Then price goes lower. And now you're thinking, well, at least now I'm at about, about you know, I lost about maybe 10%. And you begin to get a little nervous about that. Then it goes lower. Now you're getting frustrated. Emotionally and psychologically, you're thinking, this is unacceptable. I made a really bad mistake. And it goes lower and breaks a major support here, pierces it, and you're done. And you sell. And effectively, what you've done is bought high and sold low. And laddering, if you go and review my laddering technique, you scale your buy entries in piecemeal. You spread it out into a rung. So each buy ladder, a buy point will be a rung in the ladder. So again, I don't have the time to explain all that in detail, but the tutorial for that is in full detail. Go take a look at it, please. Now here's a, um, a rounding bottom, which didn't really come out into a cup and handle, but no problem, no issues with that. And this is what I recommend. Now, my analysis shows, therefore, that all time new highs are coming. This will be 0 0.0001419 target. <coughs> so that means you're looking at about a 520% profit when measured in BTC pair. Not too shabby. This is how massive profits are made. This is the power of technical analysis. And I have now, if you go through my blogs, the number of kaboom, kaboom <laughs> uh, blog posts I is not too shabby. This is the confluence of chart pattern recognition and Elliott wave analysis. And the only indicator that I use is the moving average converging divergence indicator. There you're gonna see this up here some. Ohio. That's my projection. Like so. Now I have been providing a good number of so each buy ladder, a buy point will be a rung in the ladder. So again, I don't have the time to explain all that in detail, but the tutorial for that is in full detail. Go take a look at it, please. Now here's a, um, a rounding bottom, which didn't really come out into a cup and handle, but no problem, no issues with that. And this is what I recommend. Now. My analysis shows, therefore, that all-time new highs are coming. This will be 0 0.000149 target. <coughs> so that means you're looking at about a 520% profit 
when measured in BTC pale. Not too shabby. This is how massive profits are made. This is the power of technical analysis. And I have now, if you go through my blogs, the number of kaboom, kaboom uh, blog posts is not too shabby. This is the confluence of chart pattern recognition and Elliott wave analysis. And the only indicator that I use is the moving average converging divergence indicator. There you're going to see this up here some. Ohio. That's my projection. Like so. Now I have been providing a good number of coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching. And if you are interested, I'm more than willing to schedule a time with you. My rates are pretty reasonable. Um, it can be once a week, what have you. And I'm not doing this for the business of it. I wish you, I, I, don't, I don't need it. But I do charge because it is time. But it is very reasonable. If that is something that you're interested in, let me know in the comments and we can arrange some time as well. But more importantly, if you can get the books and review the tutorials, and if you want to attempt Elliott Wave counting and chart pattern analysis, and a good number of you, like Cryptosoft, has done very well. Uh, Hippo has done also uh, very well as, as well. So I'm seeing a lot of good attempts coming out that are going to the end of one of any one of my blogs. Uh, I hope you like this, by the way. <laughs> Bitcoin 8,000 when I saw it across 8,006 in the uh, Bitstamp pricing, I, I just had to put this up. This was very nice. I I give credit where credit is due. I think I saw someone in Twitter use this, and uh, I thought it was really. I, I I spilled my coffee laughing, so I used a public image GIF of Elmo on fire to announce Bitcoin 8,000. Now consider. Please reviewing my tutorials. From the feedback I've gotten, these are very, very helpful on the how to do the basics of Elliott wave counting. And before I uh, the day ends, I'm going to be putting up another tutorial, hopefully today, if not tomorrow. I have a technique called laddering. This is where you ladder in your buys and ladder sell your exits. Okay, this is one of the most important techniques that you may be able to utilize to remove emotion, the fear and greed factors that often cause investors and traders to make dumb mistakes. And then when are the best times to buy and sell? I think this could be really helpful. Um, I'll go over some of these aspects here, uh, with the XE and BTC pair today too. And then a real live example of how to do a laddering. There's a li live example on this one too, but another one here with EOS. So, and then I have a very detailed and nice tutorial on how to use Fibonacci with Elliott Waves. And I think you might find this very interesting. Um, then, of course, um, the two books that I recommend, Elliott Wave Principle and Technical Analysis of Stock Trends. A lot of my current followers have already purchased, purchased these books and they are studying it. And if you really want to better understand Elliott Waves, um, you really want to get this book. These two books are the ones that I used to uh, start beginning in 1997. Uh, just full disclosure, I get nothing for recommending these books for any, any cynics out there. There's always some cynics out there or trolls. Um, I, I, I only recommend this because I use them myself. All benefits and and purchase price goes to the authors. None to me, I don't want any, I don't need any money from here. Follow me on Twitter, okay, for real time alerts. I do, I crank out, I'm a machine, I crank out 10 plus, sometimes 22, I think as high as many as 22 or 27 uh, blog posts per day with the updates and if you want to be at harm. That is really the oath that I take for as a technical analyst. 
It's almost the same as a physician's so. And and I see maybe perhaps I could be seen as a uh, <laughs> technical physician, um, crypto physician, uh, helping others who may be in the dark and maybe need some help to augment their due diligence. And I have seen too many people get just screwed with too many of the pump and dumps, which I think is a shame. So having said that, if you're new to my blog, please consider going to the end of one of any one of my blogs. I hope you like this, by the way. <laughs> Bitcoin 8,000, when I saw it across 8,006 in the uh, Bitstamp pricing, I, I just had to put this up. This was very nice. I, I'll give credit where credit is due. I think I saw someone in Twitter use this, and uh, I thought it was really, I, I, I spilled my coffee laughing. So I used a public image GIF of Elmo on fire to announce Bitcoin 8,000. Now, consider please reviewing my tutorials. From the feedback I've gotten, these are very, very helpful on the how to do the basics of Elliott Wave Counting. And before I b the day ends, I'm going to be putting up another tutorial, hopefully today, if not tomorrow. I have a technique called laddering. This is where you ladder in your buys and ladder sell your exits. Okay, this is one of the most important techniques that you may be able to utilize to remove emotion, the fear and greed factors that often cause investors and traders to make dumb mistakes. And then one of the best times to buy and sell. I think this could be really helpful. Um, I'll go over some of these aspects here, uh, with the XE and BTC pair today too. And then a real live example of how to do a laddering. There's a li live example on this one too, but another one here with EOS. So, and then I have a very detailed and nice tutorial on how to use Fibonacci with Elliott Waves. And I think you might find this very interesting. Um, then, of course, um, the two books that I recommend, Elliott Wave Principle and Technical Analysis of Stock Trends. A lot of my current followers have already purchased, purchased these books and they are studying it. And if you really want to better understand Elliott Waves, um, you really want to get this book. This is the end of one of any one of my blogs. I hope you like this, by the way. <laughs> Bitcoin 8,000, when I saw it across 8,006. In the uh, Bitstamp pricing, I, I just had to put this up. This was very nice. I, I'll give credit where credit is due. I think I saw someone in Twitter use this. And uh, I thought it was really, I, I, I spilled my coffee laughing. So I used a public image GIF of Elmo on fire to announce Bitcoin 8000. Now, consider, please, reviewing my tutorials. From the feedback I've gotten, these are very, very helpful on the how to do the basics of Elliott Wave Counting. And before I b the day ends, I'm going to be putting up another tutorial, hopefully today, if not tomorrow. I have a technique called laddering. This is where you ladder in your buys and ladder sell your exits. Okay, this is one of the most important techniques that you may be able to utilize to remove emotion, the fear and greed factors that often cause investors and traders to make dumb mistakes. And then one of the best times to buy and sell. I think this could be really helpful. Um, I'll go over some of these aspects here, uh, with the XE and BTC pair today, too. And then a real live example of how to do a laddering. There's a li live example on this one, too, but another one here with EOS. So, and then I have a very detailed and nice tutorial on how to use Fibonacci with Elliott Waves. And I think you might find this very interesting. Um, then, of course, um, the two books that I recommend, Elliott Wave Principle and Technical Analysis of Stock Trends. A lot of my current followers have already purchased, purchased these books and they are studying it. 
And if you really want to better understand Elliott Waves, um, you really want to get this book. These two books are the ones that I used to uh, start beginning in 1997. Uh, just full disclosure, I get nothing for recommending these books for any, c any cynics <laughs> out there. There's always some cynics out there or trolls. Um, I, I, I only recommend this because I use them myself. All benefits and, and purchase price goes to the authors. None to me. I don't want any. I don't need any money from here. Follow me on Twitter, okay, for real-time alerts. I do. I crank out. I'm a machine. I crank out 10 plus, sometimes 22, I think, as high as many as 22 or 27 uh, blog posts per day with the updates. And if you want to be alerted as soon as I send it out, 